Hi, I'm John Dubois, and I want to welcome you to Weekly Rhythms. Uh, here we are at uh, Olive Baptist Church and excited about being with you today. You know, one of the great stories of the Word of God is found in the Gospels, and it's called the Mount of Transfiguration, and it reminds me of a great lesson that we always have to learn all the time as Christians, and that's this. We need to listen to Jesus. Uh, Jesus took the inner circle, Peter, James, and John, up this mountain, and wonderful things took place. The scripture share, tells us in Mark chapter 9, verse 2, And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And as he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became radiant, intensely white, as no one on earth could bleach them. And they and there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say, for they were terrified. And a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with him but Jesus only. This story reminds me so much of how you and I tend to get encouraged by a great blessing of God. And as we get experiencing the, the, the thrill and the joy of what God's doing in our life, things that we can't really explain, like the Mount of Transfiguration, we have a tendency to try to try to figure it out in our own way or 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 we try to do something to try to please god in our own strength our own capacity uh, peter was very obviously afraid here he and james and john and as they saw jesus being transfigured talking to elijah and moses uh, peter came up with this brilliant idea lord he, he interrupts jesus talking to moses and elijah and he says lord we need to build something here we need to build a, a memorial for you and and these two great men of old the old testament and, and, and in typical peter fashion he's so much like we are we we try to do something or 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 add to something that god's already doing around us it kind of reminds me of uh, the guy that shows up at the construction work site and he even brings his own tool, tool bag and he looks around and he doesn't get any instructions from anybody. What does he do? He starts building something that he thinks is going to be needed at the construction site. And he hasn't talked to anybody. And finally the foreman comes over and says, hey, what are you doing? And the guy says, hey, I thought we could uh, use some more shelving here. So I've been building shelves. And the foreman says, stop what you're doing. You're wasting time. Come over here. This is where the project is. That is so much like Christians today. We, we get blessed by God. We see God doing something around us. But what do we do? We start taking things in, in our own hands. We start doing things that we think God's going to be happy with. And we realize that God is not pleased with what we do. I've got uh, three questions today to ask you about listening to Jesus. First of all, number one, why don't we listen to Jesus? I think it's pretty clear that our life is very busy today. We struggle with scheduling and agendas, and, and then you throw 2020 in the whole mix. And frankly, we're afraid to listen to Jesus, because if we do listen to Jesus and take him seriously, he might tell us to do something or give us direction that's going to disrupt our agenda, that's going to disrupt our convenient lifestyle. So I think that's one of the big reasons why we don't listen to Jesus. Number two, why should we listen to Jesus? Well, he's the Son of God. He is the Lord. He is our Savior. Also, the Bible says that Jesus created us. Who knows you better than Jesus? Christ has given you your personality. He's given you your DNA. And he knows exactly how you should be. And he knows what's best for your life. Thirdly, how should we listen to Jesus? I think we listen to Jesus, first of all, with a clean soul. 
we've got to get right with the Lord. We've got to get unconfessed sin out of our lives. Confess sin. Ask the Lord to show you anything in your life that would not be pleasing to Him. And then I think we listen to Jesus with an open mind. Oh, the Word of God is something that we need to be reading every day. Don't, don't let the sermon on Sunday be the only time that you open up your Bible. I encourage you to read your Bible daily. Not just read your Bible, but study your Bible and apply it. Make application of God's Word. And then finally, how do we listen to Jesus? With a willing heart. I think it's important that we understand that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. And we need to submit to His power, His authority, His Lordship, and say, Holy Spirit, show me how you would want me to walk today. Lord, what's the next step for me? I think it's important today that we listen to Jesus. And, and uh, don't be like that construction worker that just kind of shows up to God's activity and starts doing your own thing. But wait on God and listen to Jesus. The, the Heavenly Father spoke those words from the cloud on the Mount of Transfiguration. This is my beloved Son. Listen to Jesus. I'm going to pray and ask God to help us to do that very thing. You join me as we pray. God, thank you for this great story in the Mount of Transfiguration and how Jesus was glorified there on that mountaintop. And Lord, help us to not be the way Peter responded, that we would want to do something for God instead of listening to Jesus. And so, Father, today we live in a world where we need to be listening to Christ more than ever because your kingdom activity demands that we listen to Christ. And Lord, I pray that we'll have open hearts and ears and minds to what you want us to do. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I want to thank you for joining us today for Weekly Rhythms. I, I hope and pray that you have a great day and uh, looking forward to see you the next time we get together. God bless you. Have a good day.